We are here now with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. David, thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here. Too bad they can't go down to Harrisburg and cheer for the state budget. That would have been okay. That yeah, would have been they, perfect. They would straighten things out. <laughs> well, that's right. So last year, around this time, there was a guy named Tom Wolf, who we all know now as our governor. Uh, he was doing very well in the polls, and now with the budget standoff, not so much. So what happened? Well, what's happening is Governor Wolf has decreased his favorability rating in the polls, but he has plenty of company. The state representatives and the state senators are also dipping in the polls, too, because when you can't do a basic thing like get a budget done, people are not going to be very happy. The uh, state representatives and um, the senators, they basically are collecting a paycheck. Taxpayers are not happy with that. Governor Wolf, as you know, is not collecting a check. So let's talk a little about the sticking points. People cannot come to compromise and agreement. What are those sticking points? The three things are pension reform, uh, liquor privatization, and what to do about property tax relief and reform. Those are the three things. They have to get those things right now. So they somehow have to come to an agreement. So who would you say then is looking bad in this fight over the budget? Well, right now I think the administration as well as the Senate and the House basically are at loggerheads. So they're really not looking too good, but Pennsylvania is very unique in the sense that they've had late budgets before, and people who are paying attention to this um, are just going to basically gloss over it if they do get a budget. Okay, so it's a kind of a see where it goes. And now this week, the governor is going to end up vetoing the stopgap budget. What effect did that have on our state? Well, it has a big effect right now because you have social service agencies that aren't providing services. You have people that are, um, in effect, laying people off. And the school districts, some of the school districts are actually talking about filing a lawsuit against the state because they are not getting the state funding. What's happening now is the money's coming in, but nobody's getting funded. Wow, so even a lawsuit. And so there were prior administrations, the Rundell administration, there were late budgets, but how is this one different? It's a little bit different because Ed Rendell was more of a wheeler dealer, and I think Tom Wolf has a set philosophy, and um, it's a little bit different. Plus, Rendell had a relationship with the Speaker of the House at the time, and they kind of could work a deal. Okay, so it's all about those relationships. Now, David, do you think this is a situation that's going to be resolved soon? I think it will be. Tom Wolf has said that he wants to individually talk to the lawmakers to try to persuade them, the people that are, are not for his budget. And, but in the meantime, the Republicans are actually going to be uh, putting the budget to a vote, I think, next Wednesday. It is next Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. next Wednesday. So when they're talking, what would you say is going to be the most complex thing really coming to an agreement? I really think the, the, there are two political philosophies that have to merge. And at this point, they're still converging. So uh, I think the one thing they really have to do is figure out what the need is and how to get people to come together. But right now, they're at loggerheads. Okay, so they're, they're locking heads. It's a smaller version of what we're seeing, of course, in Congress. And we're seeing how local school districts, they're, they're struggling to come up with the funds to, to have all their programs. Are being affected, yes. Okay, right. so, so David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter, where can we find you? Uh, LULAC Political Letter, blackspot.com. Okay, and we'll be seeing you next month, David, because after all, there is a local election going on, right? Believe it, there is a local election. Believe it or not, you wouldn't know it with the presidential stuff and all the stuff going on, but there is a local election. We'll be talking about it if you want me back, sure. We would love to have you back. David, thank, thank you. you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thank you, appreciate it.